Hare Krishna. So today is very, very auspicious day, the appearance day of Radhakund. So I'd like to read from Sri Narayan Maharaj's book, Rajmandal Parikrama, beautiful description. The Padma Purana states, Yata Radha Priya Vishnu Tasya Kundam Priyam Tata Sarva Gopishu Sevaika Vishnu Ratyanta Vallabha. Among all the gopis, Srimati Radha is Sri Krishna's Pran Vallabha, the dear most beloved of his life. Similarly, Radha's dear Kund is also extremely dear to him. The Vara Purana declares, O Sri Radha Kund, O Sri Krishna Kund, you destroy all sins and avoid liberation in the form of praying. I bow down to you again and again. The different Puranas are filled with innumerable descriptions of the glories of these two kunds. In Brajvila Stava, text 53, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami prays, Sri Govardhan is the arena of the nectarian ras where the most confidential amorous pastimes of the divine couple take place. Because it and other places are situated in Sri Vrindavan, Vrindavan has become exceedingly charming. Yet the glories of Vrindavan, what to speak of Rajmandal's other pastime places, are not equal to a mere shadow of a particle of the glories of Sri Radha Kund. I take shelter of this Sri Radha Kund, which is more dear to Sri Mukunda than his own life. Sri Radha Kund lies in a village named Arita, about three miles northeast of Govardhan and 14 miles from Mathura and Vrindavan. Arishtasura was a servant of Kangsa who assumed the form of a bull and attacked Krishna with the aim of killing him. But Krishna killed him instead at this place. At Sri Radha Kund, the divine couple Sri Radha Krishna perform their midday pastimes and freely enjoy a variety of amorous pastimes without obstruction. This is not possible anywhere else. Therefore, Radha Kund is considered to be the topmost place of bhajan superior even to Nandagaon, Varsana, Vrindavan and Govardhan. This confidential place, surcharged with the highest and most sublime, loving transcendental sentiments, was therefore revealed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, who is endowed with the sentiment and luster of Sri Radha. Previously, Sri Madhavendra Puri, Sri Lokanath Goswami and Sri Bhukarva Goswami also came to Raj, where they revealed various pastime places of Krishna. But even they did not reveal this most confidential of places. Only Sri Gaurasundar, who is Sri Radha and Sri Krishna combined, was able to do so. The Appearance of Radha Kund and Shama Kund Sri Krishna killed Arishtasura during the day. That same night, he met with Sri Radhika and his other beloveds here. He was very eager to embrace Shimati Radhika, but as soon as he reached out to do so, she jokingly stepped back and said, Today you have killed a bull, which belongs to the cow family. You have therefore committed the sin of killing a cow. Please do not touch my pure body. Smiling, Krishna answered, O oh, dear most one, I killed a demon who had deceitfully assumed the form of a bull. So how can sin touch me? Sri Mataji insisted, whatever he was, he was in the form of a bull when you killed him. So you are definitely guilty of the sin of killing a cow. The Sakis fully supported her words. Sri Krishna asked how he could atone for this sin. Sri Mataji smiled and answered, the only atonement is to bathe in every holy place in the world. Hearing this, Sri Krishna created a wide kund simply by striking his heel on the ground. He then summoned all the holy places from all over the planet to come there. Uncountable holy places promptly came before Krishna in their personified forms, and Krishna asked them to enter the kund as water. Within a moment, the kund was filled with pure sacred water. When Sri Krishna had bathed in that kund, he again tried to embrace, embrace Sri Madhiji. But in response to the bragging of her dear most beloved, Shimadi Radhika now wanted to manifest a kun full of water that was larger and more exquisite than Krishna's. 
She and Asaki stubbornly dug out a very attractive kun nearby with their bracelets, but not so much as a drop of water appeared in it. Krishna joked that they could take water from his kun, but Srimadiji, along with her innumerable sakis, indignantly prepared themselves to bring water from Manasi Ganga in clay pots. Sri Krishna signaled to the holy places that they should insist that Srimadiji and her sakis fill up their kun with water from him, from his. The holy places personified prayed to Srimadhi Radhika and her sakis and glorified them in many ways. Thus they pleased her. She gave them permission to enter her kund, and immediately a current of water flowed from Krishna kund into Radha kund. With great pleasure, Sri Krishna had bathed and sported with Srimadhi Radhika and the sakis in the water of this dear kund. These two kunds manifested at midnight on Krishnastami, the eighth day of the dark moon, in the month of Kartik. Therefore thousands of people bathe here at midnight on this day, which is known as Bahulashtami. The Padma Purana states, Radiantly beautiful Shirada Kund is situated at the foot of Govardhan Hill. Faithful people who bathe here on Krishnastami in the month of Kartik receive Prema Bhakti and thus serve Shirala Kunj Bihari. Shihari. The same Purana also states, unalloyed devotees of Sri Radha Krishna who go to Sri Radha Kund on the day of Dipavali in the month of Kartik are granted a vision of the complete Prajmandal as well as the entire universe. So I'd also like to read a very beautiful prayer by Sri Raghunath Das Goswami um, in honor of Radha Kund. So, um, <clears throat> if you would like to listen to this, it's very inspirational and beautiful. Sri uh, Raghunath Das Goswami Ki Jai. Mm, it's called Sri Radha Kundashtakam. Rishabha Danuja Nashan Narma Dharmaku Rangair Nikala Nidja Sakibir Yatsva Hastena Purnam Prakatitam Api Rindaranya Ragya Pramodais Tad Ati Surabi Radha Kundam Evashrayo Me. After the killing of Arishta Sura, Srimati Radhika and her Sakis exchanged many joking words with Sri Krishna. Concerning the necessary atonement for one who has committed the offence of killing a bull. As a result, the Queen of Rindava and Shimati Radhika and her Sakis joyfully excavated and filled Sri Radha Kund with their own hands. May that immensely fragrant Radha Kund be my shelter. Braj Bhuvi Mura Shatru Preyasinam Nikamair Asulabam api turnam prema kalpa drumam tam Janayati ridi bumo snatu uchai priyam syat Tad ati surabi radha kundam evaishrayo me In the land of the hearts of those who bathe in radha kund, a desire tree of the superlative prem, which is not attainable even for Krishna's principal queens in Dwarka, will arise. May that supremely charming Radha Kund be my shelter. Agaripur api yatnad atra devya prasad prasara krita kataksha prapti kamaha prakamam anusarati yad uchai snana sevanu bandais tad ati surabi Radha Kundam evashrayume for the pleasure of Srimadhi Radhika, even Sri Krishna himself, yearning to attain her merciful sidelong glance, regularly bathes in Radha Kund, carefully observing all the appropriate rituals. May that supremely enchanting Radha Kund be my shelter. Rajbhuvana Sudamsho Prema Bhumir Nikamam Rajamadhur Kishori Mauli Ratna Priyeva Parichitam api namna yatcha tenai vatasyas tad ati surabi radha kundam evaishrayo me. May that supremely enchanting radha kund 
which the moon of Raj Sri Krishna loves as much as he loves the crown jewel amongst the sweet girls of Raj Shimadhi Radhika, and which he has made known by the name of Radhika herself, Be My Shelter. Api jana iha kaschid yasya seva prasadai pranaya sura lata sya tasya goshtin rasuno sapadi kila mad isha dasya pushpa prashasya tad ati surabi radha kundam evaishrayume the mercy obtained by serving Radha Kund makes the desire creeper of Prem for the Prince of Raj sprout and is celebrated for bearing the flower of service to my Swamini Srimati Radhika. May that supremely charming Radha Kund be my shelter. Tata Madhura Nikunjaha Klipja Namana Uchair Nija Parijana Vargai Sam Nibayasritas Tai Maduka Ruta Ramya Yasya Rajanti Kamyas Tadati Surabi Radha Kundam Ibaishayome Gloriously manifest on the banks of Radha Kund are eight kunjas named after Radhika's principal sakis. Filled with the sweet humming of bumble bees, these kunjas act as stimuli for the amorous pastimes of the divine couple. The lotus feet of that Radhika who sends Krishna to enjoy in all the different kunjas are desired by everyone. May that supremely enchanting Radhakun be the shelter of my life. On the eastern bank is the kunj known as Chitra Sukhad. On the southeastern side is Induleka Sukhad. On the southern bank is Champakalata Sukhad. On the southwestern side is Rangadevi Sukhad. On the western bank is Tangavidya Sukhad. On the northwestern side is Sudevi Sukhad. On the northern bank is Lalita Sukhad. And on the northeastern side is the Kunj known as Vishaka Sukhad. Tatabhuvi Varadvedyam Yasya Narmati Ridyam Madhura Madhura Bhartam Goshta Chandrasya Bangya Pratayati Mita Isha Prana Sakila Bisa Tad ati surabi radha kundam evaishrayume. Situated on an exquisite dais on the bank of Radha Kund and accompanied by her beloved Sakis, Aswamini Srimati Radhika charmingly engages in sweet joking words with Sri Krishna, the moon of Raj. These playful verbal exchanges are enhanced by the suggestion of so many innuendos. May that Radha Kund be the shelter of my life. Anudinam mati rangai prema matali sangair Varasara sidja gandair hari vari prapurne Biharata iha yasmin dampati to Pramato tad ati surabi radha kundam evaishrayome May that very charming and especially fragrant Radha Kund were intoxicated with love, the divine couple and the sakis daily cavort with great joy in the water so fragrant with exquisite lotus flowers. Be the sole shelter of my life. Avikalamati devyash charu kundash yaha pari patati tadiyalasi dasyar pitatma achiram iha sharire darshayat Jaivatasmai Maduripur Ati Modai Shlisyamanam Priyam Tam. To that devotee who, in a resolute mood of aspiring to serve Srimati Radhika, reads this charming prayer describing Sri Radha Kund. Even in their present body, Sri Krishna will quickly grant them darshan of not only his beloved Radhika, but also of their many variegated amorous pastimes. Witnessing these pastimes and envisioning himself serving Yugala Kishore in various ways, such a devotee will feel immense jubilation. Jai Jai Radhe, Jai Jai Radha Kund.